entered a secret world of virtual makeup. Hi, I'm Tia Bauman and I am a creative technologist and artist and also a producer. I basically work with augmented reality technologies, virtual reality technologies and XR or immersive reality technologies. I have been living between Shanghai, Melbourne, Hong Kong and now I'm currently based in Sydney. When I first started my companies, Metaverse Makeovers and the first product, Metaverse Nails, they were essentially holographic nails that were designed for the Asian female mobile market. The idea was that I wanted to put 3D holograms on girls' fingernails that they could play, share and augment themselves with. Essentially, it was really designed for this Asian digital generation. And a lot of the barriers that I faced was that people were quite incredulous that I, one, would be making holographic sparkly experiences for young girls or femmes. Um, and also at that time, people didn't even really know what augmented reality was. So as a female technologist, I was kind of constantly having to educate people about what augmented reality was, what the value of putting holograms on your body is. And also, I think people just were like, what is the purpose of that? And what kind of utility does having holographic fashion mean? I guess there was a lot of education that I needed to do at that time. Um, as a female technologist and woman of colour. And now the world has started to really understand where I was coming from. Um, it's been 10 years since I literally dropped holographic metaverse nails into the world as a new experience. And Snapchat has kind of blown up with augmented reality filters. Pokemon Go has happened. The meta rebrand has also taken place. So people are getting what I was doing 10 years ago, now. <laughs> when I first started, I kind of viewed it as very much like heading out into deep space. <laughs> it was a little bit formless. Um, it was kind of like heading into a black void and I just wanted to create a holographic universe within that black void, which was what my brand Metaverse Makeovers was really about. It was literally turning people's digital and physical presence into a hologram. I hold the handle Metaverse on Instagram and I've been sitting on that domain or handle since I think 2011, since Instagram kind of first crept into the world. And already at that time, I was making art under the name Metaverse. I was known as the artist Metaverse. And also I had already started to register my company Metaverse Makeovers and was making the product, the holographic nail product Metaverse Nails. So I already had quite a lot of um, branding within the Metaverse space. And when Meta rebranded. To reflect who we are and what we hope to build, I am proud to announce that starting today, our company is now Meta. They pretty much just disabled my account. I took the story to the New York Times and it just blew up. And so when um, the New York Times reached out to Meta for comment, they reactivated my account. Unfortunately, we have very minimal and limited rights when it comes to the preservation of your digital identity on major platforms that are big corporations. We don't really have a lot of rights in that space. I have been observing how this has been playing out with much interest um, and um, bemusement and also um, terror as well. <laughs> Um, I'm really not inspired by a lot of the visions out there on what the metaverse is or what it could be. It's not particularly diverse at its core. I mean, a lot of these sorts of metaverse 
worlds and Web3 hype is kind of like injected by white tech bros who kind of think they know what the future looks like. So it's interesting having had like a decades of, of perspective um, and then seeing this blow up. I'd like to get my hands back in it to reshape what that holographic universe could look like and what I think it should look like and who are the people who should help build it and hopefully this metaverse world of the future can be inclusive, diverse and as accessible as possible. That's my dream and that's my vision.